Hi, I'd like to talk about a, uh, a new book I've written, uh, one of uh, several books I've written over the past uh, recent years. Uh, the book is titled Quiet Woodworking in an Unquiet World. And the title is kind of catchy and it's uh, specifically about uh, maintaining tradition and working with hand tools in a busy, anxiety-filled uh, world. So the, the book is uh, mainly about the dichotomy or contrast of hand tool woodworking in a modern world. Why? we should maintain traditional woodworking methods uh, in light of our fast-paced lives and rising levels of anxiety. There has been a resurgence and revival of using hand tools in woodworking that needs to continue, grow and flourish. Our bodies were designed to move and uh, work. Hand-to-eye coordination is a trait developed over thousands of years. So I delve into how uh, my furniture pieces were created using hand tools and how I've transitioned from, uh, from primarily machine-oriented woodworking to majority of my work working is, is hand tool oriented today. Machines introduce an inordinate amount of uh, noise and dust into our lives and this is a consequence of uh, introducing expediency into woodworking. So there's a trade-off between uh, speed and production versus uh, quality and a lower volume. With the book, you discover why you should introduce hand tools into your woodworking and embrace a quieter form of woodworking. And we're slowly moving away from tradition through technology that is the technology that is permeating our lives. We need to strike a balance in our lives between progress and maintaining this tradition of working with hand tools, specifically in a woodworking environment. And this can occur through uh, woodworking with hand tools. So hand tools create a, uh, a quiet, a peaceful, dust-free woodworking experience. And you're able to attain a more fulfilling, better, quality of craftsmanship, improve your hand-tie coordination and gain tactile feedback. And I, I share several of my, uh, my experiences in the transition and the, uh, and the rough spots I went through in transitioning from machines to, uh, to hand tools and how I've completed the changeover and I would never go back. I do use machines in preliminary processing of some wood for my furniture, but I quickly progressed to uh, hand tools. So the book is... Uh, is uh, laid out in uh, some sections. And I'll just uh, talk about the, uh, the table of contents. Some of the sections are wood a medium with character, embrace process before product, a quiet workshop breeds focus, uh, simple tools provide results, sacrifice speed not quality, efficiency improves over time, uh, benefit from hand power, patience over speed, craftsmanship keeping tradition alive and the conclusion. The book does discuss some techniques and an introduction of different several hand tools that I use in my own furniture making and how I apply them. It's also part philosophy on why I, should, I think or why I feel we should maintain this tradition, especially in light of the, the rapid uh, introduction of uh, computer technology into woodworking today. Hopefully, uh, you can gain some insight into hand tool woodworking with this book and I hope you enjoy it. It's available in a digital format and it's also available in the soft covers you can see here through Amazon. So the digital format, the ebook format is a flip book and it's uh, similar to the print book but it's laid out digitally and it's far less expensive and it's available through woodskills.com today and the uh, again the soft cover is available through Amazon so hopefully you'll enjoy it and uh, I'll provide me some feedback. Thank you.